Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and today's system is from the user Nick118 in Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending their simulation of that feral do. Let's check this out. Their system is called the Malbor system so it should be in the workshop ready for us to go. Let's have a look see. Where are we? There it is. Okay here we go. Right hello. Here we are. Okay what have we got? Welcome to the Malbor star system, a system that has its star, a brown dwarf, and multiple planets. Malbor is a K-type star with three rockies, a comet, and a unique asteroid um, that has a moon of its own, which is why I had to name it to make it different compared to the other asteroids in the system. Along with numerous moons and some pointless asteroids that roam around the planets and dwarf planets. As for Javomora, a typical brown dwarf, it is indeed has a planet and a uh, dwarf planet of its own with the planet being a very cold, uninhabited, hostile world, along with its very cold dwarf planet, with the dwarf planet having a moon of its own. Malbor once had a habitable planet that has since become also um, to life since the previous life completely ruined it. Is there, there is now air too toxic for life to exist. Okay. And then uh, please read, don't steal my objects. Okay, gotcha. All right. Here we are. Okay, let's see what we got. So how many, how many objects are we, uh, how many objects are we looking at in here? Okay. Right, so, star itself, smaller than the sun in its stats, only 19% uh, as luminous. Okay, first of the planets. So we're pretty much free to roam this as much as you want. So let's go ahead and have a look. See, here is the first object. So it looks Venus-like in appearance. So here it is, 326 degrees, look underneath. Okay, it's got some sort of ocean under there. What is that now? Carbon dioxide, liquid carbon dioxide in there. Okay, silica. Yeah, liquid carbon dioxide. Okay, liquid and gas forms of it. So pretty wild. Okay, there it is. Next up, we're having to Ravanus over here. It's another world with a fairly toxicy looking atmosphere going on it there. There it is. Looking underneath, surface looks pretty uh barren. Obviously, you can see some. There's some forms of liquid there. What is that? Um, oh, there's some water. That's hydrogen. It's a bit of liquid hydrogen on it. Nitrogen. It's liquid water on it as well. This must be the world it's saying that used to be habitable. It's kind of been ruined. It probably is this world. But there it is. Looks like it's tidy locked as well. As you can, yeah, it's definitely tidy locked. Okay, so there he is. So, a pretty ruined looking world by the looks of things. There's its moon. Watching alongside it. So, there they are. Very nice. Next up, we're heading to Ost over here. Ost. Here he is. Okay. Got one moon here. And minor objects here. Okay. Nice. There's the planet itself, looking good. Next up, we have got Teva Dorina. Looks like a glowing kind of asteroid here. Ooh, okay. Mysterious. Okay, there you are. Has a moon as well. Asteroid with an asteroid moon. Quite a large size moon as well for the parent planet size, parent object size. So there we are. Next up, we've got Severana. Okay, there we go. Minor object. Minor object. Okay, yep. Yeah, skip through those guys. Minor object. We got Senador here. There you go. We've got Tenor here. There you are. Listera. Cape Rule here. And then more minor objects. Okay, so there's those guys. Next up we've got Palgurin here. This one has a lot of minor moons around. If we look at the gas shine itself, you see quite a nice mix of bands all thrown in there. Quite a mysterious bottom region. How's he got that shape? That's quite interesting. The top's a normal shape, but underneath, that 
the shape of those bands looks a little weird to me. What's going on there? Not seen that before. Very bizarre. There's the moons. Okay. So there we are. Okay. And the rest are all minor moons. We've got Lovos here as well. Okay. And yeah, the rest are all minor objects, aren't they? Yep. Okay. Then we've got Molvors here. Ah, okay. Nice deeper purple one. It looks really good, actually. I quite like that. We've got Anti here. Evanar. It's getting very dark out here as well from the distance from the star. How far are we sitting from the star now? No, it's only 19%, so... Yeah, we're not, we're not even Neptune distance yet, and it's almost completely dark. Okay. Even further out. Well, there's a comet over there. Which is there. We've got Levio over here. Complete darkness now. Okay, let's go to change our lighting mode. Where are we? Directional. There you are. That's better. Looking good. Nice looking gas giant for sure. Yeah, we like that. We've got Alem here. We've got some more minor objects going on. Yep. A few of them lot. Yes. Okay. Chavo Mora. Brown Dwarf. Vesta Rusty. Tiso Rus. Over here, there it is. We've got the blue effect going on there, okay. And has a little moon as well with some uh, almost look glowy looking purple areas on it. Very bright colours on an object with a dark surface like that. Okay. And I believe. That is everything. So there we are. Let's get the lineup of this system. One of the smaller end of smaller size systems, but there it is. There is your lineup. So short and sweet. Quite a nice. Uh, it's quite a realistic looking system from my sort of first glance of it. You know, there's not many objects that are like really funky out, fantasy looking. Most of them have quite realistic looking sort of visuals. I think maybe only the green moon kind of stands out. Maybe something like the bluer and the pink areas. But a lot of the objects in there seem fairly sort of more realistic kind of design rather than just being like funky, wacky colours like I would do on some systems, for example, sometimes. So I quite like the realistic look. It's always a nice change to have some more uh, realistic looks. Obviously, the uh, enhanced colours on the gas chance can be a little debatable, but you know, some of the other these gas giants look a little more sort of on the realistic end of things. And obviously, the, the Rockies, most of them look fairly uh, sort of what you'd expect as well. So, yeah, quite like it. So, there we are. That is the system from Nick118 in Discord. So, massive thank you to them for sending in their system. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button as well. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. Helps and journey to 40,000 subscribers as we are so close now. We are within 200 people. So, we are absolutely amazingly close. Really appreciate all your support, everybody. Make sure you have a great day out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.